Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a matrix space with a discrete matrix and we have to prove that it is not compact by showing the given open cover has no finite sub cover. Okay, so let us start with the given information. What is the information we have? We have a matrix space, close interval 0, 1 with a discrete matrix D1. Okay, so let me mention the given information. So we have, we have a matrix space close interval 0 1 with d1 where d1 is a discrete matrix okay so i hope still you remember the definition of discrete matrix so discrete matrix is defined in this way let me write that is d1 of xy in a discrete matrix if you have x and y equal then its distance is 0 if x is equal to y and if x is not equal to y, that means if you take two distinct points, the distance is 1. That means in a discrete matrix, there are only two distances, either 0 or 1. So if two points are identical, both are equal, then their distance is 0. And if you have two distinct points, any two different points, then distance is always 1. So in this way, discrete matrix is defined. So further, they have given that open cover uh, of that close interval 0 1 getting so I hope you are familiar with the close interval 0 1 so it is a subset of R basically and it contains its boundary points also 0 and 1 okay so what is the open cover we have bx 1 by 2 so let me mention here given that given that I will uh, denote it by script C so b x 1 by 2 where x belongs to close interval 0 1 so is an open cover is an open cover of close interval 0 1 so open cover that means it covers close interval 0 1 as well as each set is an open set so obviously each set is an open set since it is a ball okay so we have a ball with center x and radius 1 by 2 so it's an open cover so obviously we can write so therefore close interval 0 1 is subset of uh, it's a matrix space we have so this is equal to union b x 1 by 2 x belongs to close interval 0 1 since it is an open cover so that's why we could write it okay so let us focus on the thing which we have to prove so what we have to prove here we have to prove that it has no finite sub cover so let me mention to prove that to prove that script c has no finite sub cover so we have to prove that it has no finite sub cover so in mathematics when we want to prove anything normally what we do we uh, assume exactly opposite to that so here also i will assume exactly opposite to that so here we will assume that let it possible the given cover has finite sub cover so let us do so let if possible let if possible script c has finite sub cover okay so we are assuming that it has a finite sub cover okay so in this way we will go further we will write some logical sentences and finally we get some contradiction so we will say we get a contradiction therefore our assumption is wrong and we rectify our statement and we will have the required thing that is script c has no finite sub cover right so right now we are assuming script c has finite sub cover so let us call it as script c dash okay say say script c dash so it has finite sub cover that means there are only finite number of sets which can cover that entire set close interval 0 1 so let me call them as b x 1 1 by 2 okay comma b x 2 1 by 2 and so on b x n 1 by 2 okay so this is a finite sub cover getting so we have finite number of balls or finite number of sets which can cover the entire matrix place close interval 0 comma 1 so therefore i can write so therefore close interval 0 1 is equal to union of these open balls b x i 1 by 2 i running from 1 to n since total n number of balls we have so initially we had that open cover and now we are considering it has finite sub cover so that's why we got this one okay so let me call it as equation number or statement number one okay so let us start to work on that those balls b x i 1 by 2 okay 
So I'm going to do that, but there is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us continue it here now. Okay. So let us find uh, B X no X I one by two. So let us consider, let us find that ball consider B X I one by two. So you are familiar with the definition of open ball. Okay. So open ball with center X I and radius one by two, that means it contains all points. Okay. All points which are at a distance less than one by two from the center of ball. That means X I. So let me write here. So it contains all points Y from a matrix space such that distance between X I that means center of ball and Y is less than its radius getting one by two. Okay. Less than one by two. So let me write the actual definition so you can easily understand. B A R. So if you have ball with center A radius R. So the definition of ball is X belongs to X. Okay. Any point from a matrix space such that distance between X and A getting distance between any point X distance between X and A must be less than radius of that ball. Then it will lie inside a ball getting. So the same definition I used to write this ball. Okay. Just a minute, let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write. Okay, so here we have distance less than one by two. Okay, less than one by two. But we are talking about discrete matrix. Okay, so I should mention here D1 discrete matrix we have. So in a discrete matrix, there are two distances only either zero or one, right? So here distance is less than one by two. That means there is only one possibility. That means distance is zero getting in discrete matrix we have two distances zero and one but here distance is less than half so only one possibility distance is zero so that's why i should write here y belongs to close interval zero one such that distance x i y is equal to zero so tell me when we say the distance is zero if both points are same then we say the distance is zero so here the distance is zero. It means it means those points are equal. This X I and Y getting. So we are having all points Y such that which are equal to X I, which are equal to X I means X I itself. So this ball who on, has only one point X I getting. So we are calculating a ball with center X I and radius half. But finally we got in that ball there is only one point that is nothing but center of that ball. Okay. So the value of this ball is simply X. So let me use this thing in equation one. Now, then, then one becomes one becomes see what will you get close interval zero one is equal to union I running from one to N and the value of ball is X I only getting, but see we are taking union. So I should write here. Let me expand it. So X one union X two union and so on. In this way, we should go up to Xn, Xn since the upper limit is n here. So we are taking union of all these elements. So obviously, we will have here x1, x2, x3 and so on Xn. Okay, so I need some more space to write. Just make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So therefore, see what can we write here. In right hand side, we have got one set and in left hand side already we have one set close interval 0, 1. You can easily see in left hand side, we have a set in which uh, there are infinitely many elements. There are infinitely many elements between zero and one, right? But in right hand side, there is a set having only n number of elements. That means it is a finite set. So I should mention here, here set in right hand side is a finite set, but in left hand side, we have infinite set getting infinite set. And we are saying both sets are equal. It cannot be possible getting set with infinite number of elements and set with finite number of elements cannot be equal. So we get a contradiction here. So therefore, we get a contradiction. So tell me why we get a contradiction. Tell me why we get a contradiction because our assumption is wrong. Okay, so our assumption is wrong. What was our assumption that script C has a finite circle that is wrong. So let me mention therefore our assumption is wrong. 
assumption is wrong. So assumption was uh, script C has a finite subcover. That is wrong. That means script C has no any finite subcover. Therefore, therefore open cover, open cover script C. Okay, that was B x half such that x belongs to close interval 0 1 has no finite sub cover for close interval 0 1 getting so in this way we completed this example but see if there is an open cover ha having no any finite sub cover then we say the matrix space is not compact getting so therefore you can declare finally that close interval 0 1 with a discrete matrix space d1 is not a compact matrix space so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you next time